Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's digital plan with me. Today I am planning out the week of January 15th through the 21st, halfway through January, and I'm using the planner pieces system. I have a whole video going through this whole system, but basically it's a single sheet PDF and I'm using the to done version three, which is kind of like the wintry theme that I had released for January. I use the same set for my monthly view, the to done version three for my monthly view, which I've really been enjoying using that option for my month. And so I needed to put together this weekly spread nice and quick today. It is almost noon on Monday. So I am struggling you guys with keeping up lately and I will get into that in just a minute because there's definitely gonna need to be some changes with like timing of things and um, I just need to be more realistic with myself with some stuff. So I'll get into that in just a moment. But yeah, um, using you know the matching weekly dashboard to the month makes it so easy because I can just copy and paste all the stickers I had previously put together into the spread. Everything matches. It looks really cute. I did take my time decorating a little bit more um, for the week just because I got into it and I felt like doing that. <laughs> so. But uh, yeah, I love how the spread turned out. I'm loving the planner pieces system. It's just really simple, which is what I am needing in this current season of life. And I personally really love the to done option too, because everything's, you know, pre-decorated, just makes it really easy and quick to put together a cute planner spread. And I'm really finding with my weekly spread too that there's a couple components that I really like having on my weekly spread. I really like having the events of the week. I like being able to just kind of, you know, zoom in on the week and see exactly what we have going on in terms of places we need to be at certain times and all that kind of stuff. And then I also really like having just a general checklist of things to do for the week. So I write down a whole checklist of what I need to accomplish. Most of those tasks are work related. I feel like we've gotten into a really good groove and we have a really good system in place for chores in our family. Um, we basically have divided the house into zones and each person in the family is responsible for their zone. So for example, I'm responsible for the office and the laundry room. Those are the rooms that I frequent the most. And then um, I also probably do like the least amount of cleaning because I do all the laundry um, and I work, you know, a lot. So I feel like those rooms are manageable for me to kind of keep clean. Maddie's responsible for the kids' bathroom, living room, and dining room. Um, and so on and so forth. I won't go into all the details, but we have specific cleaning days, Wednesday and Friday. And um, so Maddie will clean the bathroom, the whole thing. She has a checklist that's laminated so she can just check off each thing um, in the bathroom so she knows exactly what to clean. And she does that on Wednesday. And then on Friday, those are lighter school days. So that's why we chose to do chores on those days. Uh, on Friday, she does like the dining room and living room and stuff like that. And then on Sunday, we all clean our bedrooms, our individual bedrooms. So everyone's responsible for their own bedroom. And it's like, you know, dusting the furniture, vacuuming, all that kind of stuff. I wash bedding for the kids and do their clothes currently. Although pretty soon we're going to start teaching Maddie how to do her own laundry. Um, she's just kind of interested in it. So I was like, okay, <laughs> we can do that. So, um, and yeah. And then Sunday is usually when I do all the laundry. So I feel like in terms of house stuff, like there's not really ever a ton that I need to put on my checklist. It's mainly work stuff, you know, videos that need to be filmed, content that needs to be created, products that need to be created, you know, um, admin type of stuff, all of that. And so I need my checklist and then I like having a mini calendar and you'll see here in a moment, I do swap out that widget. I thought I wanted to do a top three, but honestly, I just like having one list on because then I'm like, you know, I don't know. I just like putting like the more high priority things at the top of my list and then the lower priority. I kind of order things on my checklist in order of priority. So I didn't really need the top three. So you'll see in a minute, I swapped that out for the like little mini month that is um, available in the P2P vault. So I do that. 
And then I like having pictures. I just really enjoy having pictures of the girls, of my dogs, like all that, my family on my planner spread because it's just, I don't know, it's just fun to look at. It's motivating everything I do, I do for my family. And so I just find that to be, you know, really fun to just be able to see every time I open up my planner. And beyond that, it's really just, you know, decor decorating, making the spread look cute, all that kind of stuff. I love throwing torn paper on my planner spreads. You guys probably know that by now if you've been here a while. So that's what I've done. Um, and I'm really finding too, after like being like, I'm gonna use dailies. <laughs> um, I don't use dailies. I mean, occasionally if there's like so much going on that I need to jot it down or something, but our our day-to-day -day life is pretty predictable. It's pretty much routine. We, you know, we don't ever have like so much going on. I, I intentionally make sure as much as possible. I mean, sometimes it's not, possible but I try to make sure to not schedule too much in one day and I try to space things apart and all of that so um, I just I'm not really finding I need dailies I've been using actually like a fitness journal like a pen and paper fitness journal to plan out my workouts and then it, in terms of what I eat I eat the same exact things every day I'm on like an intermittent fasting schedule I eat literally the same things every day. So I really don't need to like write that stuff down and all of that. Um, one thing I might start doing is tracking my moods more. I've just been finding that um, my moods have been all over the place lately and I don't really know entirely why that is. I don't know if it's like the cold weather maybe. I need to get outside more, I don't know. Um, so I kind of want to start maybe tracking that. but. I feel like a monthly and weekly is plenty for me and then the occasional like just daily dashboard is perfect like I just I don't have enough going on in my life to do the dailies and I know the dailies work so well for other people too but um, for me I just think a week with the events a nice list and some pictures and some cuteness it's all I need so but anyways, as I was mentioning earlier, I need to make some changes, you guys. And I know that these changes are not going to be well received by everybody. Um, for the most part, I feel like you guys are so understanding and I'm so grateful for that because I think things change a lot on my end and it's just because that's my life. My life changes all the time. I am currently the sole breadwinner of my family. I'm running a business pretty much by myself. My husband does help me, which is really awesome. Um, he helps me put together sticker kits, but there's that. And then I am homeschooling my kids and I, for a, a while, Andrew was handling most of that, but we're trying to do kind of a role switch, if you will. The business is not going anywhere. I still want to run my business and everything, but I do need to decrease my hours because I need to be able to homeschool my children. I'm just really passionate about it. I want to be involved in it. I don't want to miss out on this time. I love it. And Andrew's been feeling called to like go out and work more. So he's working on that. Um, he did apply back to Costco. They're always so good to him. They said in March he can probably start back. That's probably going to be the time they're going to have some openings is when some of the seasonal people leave. So. He's planning on going back to Costco eventually, probably full time, and we'll see what happens there. Eventually, he's wanting to um, go to school to get into the trades. There's a really good trade school here that it's like a six month program and he can get into, you know, um, electricity, plumbing, um, air conditioning, all sorts of things. He's leaning towards air conditioning. So he's kind of wanting to do something. He's just a very like physical person. He doesn't, he would not do well, like sitting in a cubicle behind a desk. Like that is not him at all. So he wants to be doing something with his hands and solving problems and stuff like that. So he's thinking that that may be the best fit for him. That is going to come way down the road because I don't think we're going to have him start school until our, our van is paid off, which is going to take a little bit. So in the interim, he's going to, or is that how you say that word? I don't know. I'm a little tired this morning. Um, but 
he's going to do Instacart until he can start at Costco and then he's gonna start at Costco and hopefully just start working there full time. They usually always start people out part time unless maybe they'll need him full time. I don't know, we'll see what happens, but that's kind of his plan for now and he'll probably be doing that for a few years. So he's planning on bringing in more income just to take some pressure off the business to allow me to like ease up a little bit and be more present with my family. I miss meal planning, I miss grocery shopping, I miss cooking meals for my family. I just, that's what I've always loved to do and I haven't been, Andrew's been the primary one doing that and he's done a phenomenal job. I'm so grateful for him without all of his hard work. I would have never been able to focus on the business and grow it as much as I've been able to, um, but it's time for a change. I think both him and I have that on our hearts. Like I know for me, I just really want to be a more present mom. So what I'm finding is, because I'm really not willing to compromise on it anymore, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm going to do homeschool, like, and I'm just going to figure it out and work's going to have to work around it. So I'm prioritizing homeschool above work. And that means I have less time to work because I have to spend like the first half of my day, you know, homeschooling the kids, which I love to do. And it's kind of working out really nicely because I usually, um, I usually end stuff around like a little after lunchtime or so, which still gives me plenty of time to work because I typically will work like, for example, like 1.30 to like 7 or something like that. It varies day to day. Some days we need more time for school because some concepts are getting like are a little harder to grasp or I want to take more time going over something for like our family subjects or whatever it may be or some days the kids are just having a hard time focusing and so we need to go outside and get wiggles out like it all it's like a day-to-day -day thing like no day is the same so um, but usually I'm able to come upstairs around like 1.32 is typically the case. And so I can usually get like about six, five to six hours of work in. And I'm finding it's just not enough, which shocker, <laughs> you know. Um, so what I am going to do, and I've thought long and hard about this, um, I am not going to do weekly releases anymore. I just can't keep up with it, you guys. So I am going to... Um, have releases kind of like we used to do in the past on the first and third Wednesday of every month. And the first Wednesday is going to be sticker kits and the to done planner in a combined thing. And then the third Wednesday is going to be all the extra fun things, add ons, widgets, extra sticker packs, all that kind of stuff. It's just going to give me so much more time to compile products, work on products and all of that kind of stuff. Um, I love the weekly releases. I love being able to, to provide that for you guys, but I just, I can't keep up. And clearly I cannot keep up with the digital plan with me's and stuff too. Um, that's been a challenge for me. Typically I'm not sitting down to plan my week currently until like the start of the week, like I am today. So, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do new releases on the first and third Wednesday of the month. And then on the other Wednesdays of the month, I am going to do digital plan with me. So that may be my monthly plan with me and a weekly plan with me, a memory keeping, a daily. Maybe I need to use a daily that day and I decide to film it. Um, I want to do like more showing the products in action on the other Wednesdays of the month. And then I would love to start putting out more short form content. So reels and shorts and stuff like that showing other digital plan with me. It's just in a really quick bite size video, different, different tips and tricks and things like that. So, um, yeah, that's something that I'm kind of planning out in my mind. And then I do still plan on doing my membership. That is something I still really want to do, but that's something that will not start until I feel like I'm on top of things in terms of product production. Like I need to be on top of products and ahead with that and sort of like feeling like I'm good to go there before I'm going to like put something else on my plate. But the membership something I'm really passionate about. It's something I really, really want to do because I miss connecting with you guys on a personal level. This channel used to be much more personal stuff like day in the life and all that kind of stuff. And I got away from it a little bit just to focus a lot more on the business side of things and like 
digital planning because that's ultimately what people are here to see um, if they're using our products and all that kind of stuff I feel like seeing the products in action like budgeting you're seeing the products in action um, digital plan with me so you're seeing it in action and then I'd love to start sharing more tips and tricks so that's all related to the business and but I want to start talking more about personal things my faith doing live sessions with you guys like Q&A's showing a day in the life showing my morning routine just videos that like I want to share like I well I always want to film don't get me wrong I love YouTube I wouldn't have been here I think I'm going on like year seven or eight I don't know but I've been on YouTube a long time if I didn't love it I would not still be here trust me um, but yeah I just love creating content so I just like those like more personal things I want to share there so that will that still is I'm planning to do that but it's gonna be a bit um, I'm hoping maybe February March maybe sometime in the first quarter we'll see I'm learning to not plan ahead too much because you just never know what's going to happen in life like I just can't plan too much so but I feel like that's gonna be much more manageable um, I know some of you really really love the weekly releases and I know that's gonna be you know a, an adjustment but it's what originally I was doing and I feel like I was able to keep up with that really well and I just need to revert back to that because um, I also when I had planned to do the weekly releases I was releasing like one sticker kit per week and I've gone back to releasing them in batches um, I just really enjoy doing it that way a little bit more and I think you guys enjoy seeing all the kits at once too that's what I'm gathering just based on like feedback and views on the videos and stuff like that so um so I will be putting together calendars every month just so you know the specific release days. When I start the membership, I want to share the date of like my live Q&A, just kind of hanging out um, sessions that we'll do in the membership and stuff. And so um, you guys will see those. I'm hoping starting in, well, for sure in February in terms of like when products are releasing, but overall the first and third Wednesday of the month, um, unless like, we're out of town on the third Wednesday or a specific day or something and it has to get bumped but there should be two larger releases per month instead of having like you know small releases each week I think that's just going to work out a lot better for me personally so that's a change and then in terms of YouTube um so as I mentioned Wednesday you'll see the new release videos you'll see digital plan with me so there's not going to be a weekly digital plan with me every single week um, but I do want to do more of those short form videos like I mentioned so I'm hoping to to be able to get that started I've really considered you guys like I I don't know why 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 are reels so intimidating to me I feel like I don't know what I'm doing with them <laughs> and I know it's like simple and I it's like YouTube right when I started YouTube I had no idea what I was doing if you look at my older videos compared to my videos now so different in terms of like quality and editing and all that kind of stuff I now have a camera I used to film on my phone which by the way nothing wrong with the phone I feel like I get just as good quality on my phone as my camera these days with like how advanced the cameras have gotten but um, it's just one of those things where you just have to start doing it and then you just get better and better as it goes but I have really considered like hiring someone to do just reels because they stress me out so much <laughs> but I am going to learn I need to learn how to do this um, there's like a, a couple teenagers in my neighborhood who um, go to our Bible study group and they said they were like we can do your reels and like you know looking for a way to like earn some extra money so that was kind of you know tempting but we'll see I'm trying to keep expenses low at the moment and um, you know I yeah we'll see how all that goes but I, I will learn. I will learn. I just need to like just start doing it. And I know that I've put out a couple reels. They've been okay, but I it's hard. I compare myself too much to other people. You guys shocker. I mean, I think a lot of us probably have that that issue, especially with social media and having access to all of that. But um, I'll go on and see these like fancy schmancy reels. And I'm like, geez, like, how do they do that? Like, these digital plan with me is that I see sometimes I'm like are they literally like flipping their phone around like you know ch changing their type tripod angles for like each thing and like just trying to think of like the behind the scenes of like how that comes together I'm just like what what is this <laughs> like how do and it looks amazing but I'm like how are they doing this so anywho 
that's that. Um, really fun times. But if you have tips, if you're really good at reels and like that's your thing and you know how to do them, if you have tips to share or resources to share, please, by all means, send them my way because I want to provide that type of content to you guys. But the reason I haven't is because I don't know what the heck I'm doing <laughs> and I'm intimidated by it, just being honest. So Anyways, guys, that's it. Lots of updates today. Um, I will share more in our Facebook community as well. I might, um, yeah, I'll, yeah, I will. I'll share this video and I'll share more about like what's going on, but that's that. Um, so YouTube will be budget videos Friday. Wednesday will be new releases and playing with me type of stuff. And I'll switch it up from time to time. I think it gets a little stale seeing the same like weekly plan with me all the time. So I want to share different stuff. Um, and then on Monday, eventually, that will be when the membership videos go up. Um, and then some short form content sprinkled in as soon as I can get going on that. <laughs> so I hope that you all are having a wonderful week so far. I hope that you are all healthy and that the new year is off to a great start for you. If it's not, I pray that it will turn around for you and, um, and yeah, so with that, um, there will be a new release this upcoming Wednesday. It is technically the third Wednesday of January. I do have some items to share with you guys this Wednesday, um, but we will not have new releases again until February 7th after that. So just keep that in mind. Um, this is effective immediately because I just, I need to be realistic with my time and I need to, you know, just... Do what I can do and and yeah so anyways um, that's it for now I hope you enjoyed watching this video and watching the spread come together and um, have a wonderful week and I will see you on Wednesday and until then I will chat with you all later bye